Hey, what's up, guys? So, we're here to talk about the movie Us. We went to go see it uh, the day it came out. And a lot a lot of the Us review movie kind of... There's a lot of clouded thoughts on it. Because I thought at first it was about black people turning against black people. That's what I thought the movie was going to be about. Um, I thought that was a commentary Jordan Peele was looking for. Uh, but I was so wrong. It's about classism in America. It's the thought of the bottom rising to the top over the people who are privileged. <clears throat> and it's very apparent. Like, it centers on black people first. And then it moves to it happening all over the world in different scenarios. And I thought that was very clever. And I like that each person or the tethered kind of had this connection to the person they were terrorizing. So, we already know, spoiler talk, the mom. Yeah. Was, he was uh, shot at the whole time. She was, well, not, they're called the tethered. The tethered. Oh, yeah. yeah. The tethered were, um, basically, like, these people who were experiments and, like, put under these tunnels these unknown ton tunnels in America. This movie set in the 1980s, and it's pretty interesting because it just shows these people here at the bottom. They were left there because they were failed experiments or they were seen as fa failures. They left them down there. They're eating raw bunnies. I mean, they can barely uh. talk, and they mimic a lot of the people on the surface. <clears throat> and to me, that... That represents the poor, or the uneducated, or the people who are underprivileged. They're not, they don't get to eat good food, they don't get to go out to the movies, they don't get to go and, um, go on a boat trip with their family, like, they're just down there, stuck. What do you think about all that, like, do you uh, think that... Personally, the, I think... The, how the person made the movie was actually very interesting how he did it because he kind of started off smooth and he and he kind of started off as you know we all were thinking the same outcome of the movie you know we kind of thought you know the movie was going to turn out to be this but really honestly it wasn't it turned out to be a big twist and it's definitely something I would want to watch again just to get the clear story of the movie. But I definitely really liked it. And mm. how he situated with the people like underground and the people above ground and how they have the same faces. I mean, to me, it personally means that, you know, that we have, like, even though that you know we that we were stuck underground doesn't make us any less than you. Like we're not we're not like we're not any less than you. Like you're not above us, and we're not below you. Like we have the same like we have the same equal values. And that's what America is. It's like putting America's problems right on the ta <clears throat> on the table. Uh huh. Yep. That we should have more empathy for people who don't have as much. We shouldn't be trying to shut them down or leave them behind or, you know, sometimes with the level of privilege, it actually makes you to where you're desensitized. Like, you even forget that poor people exist sometimes when you're in your own world. When I'm sitting here and I got this um, gaming computer, this mic, and this camera, and some internet to upload, and a place to stay... It's hard to forget there's people out there that literally have, they, they some people out there literally have yeah. to lay in dirt, you know, and have to drink dirty water in developing countries. And that's, that's what this movie is about. You know, in a way, it's telling you, what if those people found a way to get to your level where you're at and come knock on your door, you know? Mm -hmm. Same thing with, um, you know, your phone. There's people in China making the parts of your phone. They're losing body limbs to make these smartphones we have here in America and in other countries. So when you think about it, it's not even just a U.S. problem. It's it's pretty much for any country that has a lot of money and a lot of wealth but doesn't 
wants to keep it class and doesn't want to help the people down there that don't have as much. <clears throat> so this whole movie is about classism. And maybe it's a warning to tell us that maybe with us being so privileged to not think about these people, they may find a way to come to us. I think it's a good movie. Um, that and America can, you know, fall apart if it's just going to be just people at the top. Like, there's only a, a very few selected people at the top. But well, I don't, think they're, I don't the even bottom. think they're selected either. No, okay. not like, not yeah. not what I meant, but like just there's like there's a very few people on top. Like there's like the nothing compared to the people on the bottom. You talking about like the one percent? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, you got the one percent families. I've always thought that I always used to think that the one percent was like the enemy, but to be honest, it's the people with the most money who are usually the least evil. Um. Yeah, they have a lot of stuff going on, but that's because they're so privileged. Sometimes you'll be surprised how nice a rich person is when you meet them. Yep. Really, you'll be surprised because um, people with a lot of money, the one percent, aren't exactly bad people. They just did stuff that most people would not do. So usually, sometimes a person with a ton of money started in a position. Where they still had a place to stay and stuff, but they had enough resource, resources to make sacrifices to make more money. So it's like um, a kid growing up in the projects. He may have a computer and a camera. So he, he did stuff on the internet maybe to get him enough money and that meant sacrificing certain things so he could get to this certain level. But we're talking about the people who literally don't even have that, who don't even have the money to even get clothes, to even have a place to get a job, to get a phone, to to get a job to call them back. Like we're talking people who literally are in a position not to win, and that is uh, the thing. I think everyone should have a fighting chance to you know win. But when they don't even have nothing at all or nothing to build off of, it's a wrap. You know, it's, it's like you're in a perpetuating loop, a hole where you can't get out. You're trying to crawl your way out, but there's no way out. And at that point, when you're poor, when you're so poor that you can't, problems that you, you don't think about credit, you don't think about paying bills, you don't think about, oh, I need to wear this, oh, I, you don't think about, oh, I need to do this because it's irrelevant to you. You're only... Like the problems that us privileged people think about don't even matter, you know, like at all. And uh, I think that's the thing. It's I like this movie because it, it really puts that conversation on the table. Are we as human beings losing empathy because we got more and we're more privileged than people who don't have anything? So um, it kind of it is a good movie. I think everyone should go see it. If you have not saw it, I'm sorry for the spoilers. But uh, I don't think we've given you too much to ruin the movie, pretty much. I feel like we've given you just enough to think about, yeah, about you the go, movie. Yeah, and I feel like you go see it. And um, I think you'll like it. Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. And uh, I'll do more movie reviews. Peace. Oh, wait, wait. We will be doing Avengers Endgame.